Good morning. It is half six here in the Netherlands. It is a miserable day, but not to fear because I'm flying back to Ireland today. I'm flying back to Ireland because the hurling championship is on. I got the call that I can fly back and play with my club, so I'm going to do that. I'm gonna cycle to the bus stop and get bus to Schiphol. We live really close to Schiphol, the airport in Amsterdam. It's so handy. The match is on in about seven hours and I'm still here in the Netherlands. I just think that's wild. I've never had to fly back for a game before or anything like that, so yeah, it's gonna be an exciting day. I'm actually cutting this quite late. I'm supposed to be at the bus stop in 15 minutes and I'm only leaving the apartment now. I have to cycle over. It's lashing rain, I'm gonna get drenched going over. But yeah, once I get the bus, that's basically it. I'll be fine, I, I'll, I know my way around Chapel. It's just getting there right now. This is probably the first time in a long time that I've flown solo. Hopefully I get the flight, that would be handy. I don't wanna miss it, I don't wanna miss this game. Time to get the weapons. Here they are. Let's see, it's absolutely lashing. I'm not going to show you the cycle down because it's just too wet. It is 6.42, 15 minutes to get to the bus stop. I am drenched. My pants are literally stuck to me now. I'm going to have to go all the way back in soggy pants. I suppose it's half my fault. I didn't really look at the weather or anything like that. The cycle was the worst cycle I've ever had in my life. The jacket's alright because it's a jacket obviously but the pants were pants are not for days like this. Bad news is I missed the first bus but there's one every 10 minutes so I'm going to be alright. Look I'll show you how bad it is like. Alright we made the ship hold. I cannot tell you how shit the weather is today. I'd love to find like a hand dryer and dry my jeans because they're so soggy right now. Chipotle is massive by the way, it's gonna take me forever to get to my thing. 25 past seven, flight isn't until quarter to nine, so we're all sorted, we're all good here. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. Are you going to Cork or to Dublin? Ah, uh, Cork. Do you have a bag to check in? No, yeah. no bag. What are you doing with the check-in desk here? What are you doing here? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, I thought I was just, uh, yeah, I don't. Pass? Sorry? Yeah. I do, yeah. Yeah. For nothing in the line. I don't need to do anything? No. <laughs> okay, sorry. That was the first time. Yeah, I see. Until 9.46. Yeah, that's right. Thanks very much. That was very embarrassing. I don't have a bag to check in. You see, all I have is my boots and my bag. Jeez, I still thought you had to like show your boarding pass and all that. I had an inkling though. I was like, maybe I don't have to. But that was very embarrassing that. What a, that was a big waste of my time. The flight's been delayed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's been delayed by a few minutes. If it gets delayed anymore, we're gonna be in a bit of, a, bit of trouble. She really humbled me there, I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I don't know, Jesus Christ. Yeah, hopefully security doesn't take that long. That was such a waste of my time. I had a tiny feeling. I was like, I don't have any bags to check in. Am I supposed to be here? But like I was never gonna, if I got that wrong, like sure I can't just walk past everyone, but I uh, don't want to get delayed by anymore. Because like I, I kind of wanted to like take a nap and do a bit of pucking and all that. Yeah, the day's gone off well, wet jeans, the hostess humbling me. It is 10 past eight, the uh, gate closes in about 35 minutes or something like that. This is the hard part of Chapel is the, when you get past security, there's about a million gates and I have every right to believe that my gate is pretty close to the bottom of the airport. So it's gonna be a long walk. Gonna find the gate first and I'm gonna get a coffee and a like, croissant or something because I'm starving right now. Thankfully, I have a 10 kg bag that I can bring home, bring back from home. Last year, during the summer, it was boiling. Every single day it was like 30 degrees, it was madness. And for that reason, I didn't bring any rain gear. But lo and behold, when it came to summer, it's been nothing but rain this time. It has been pouring every single day. It's supposed to be warm in Ireland anyway, so look forward to this match. There you go. Thank you so much. Have yeah, a nice day. It is 8.45. We're supposed to be boarding now, but there is no plane. Departure has been pushed back to 10.45 compared to that I was supposed to be leaving at like 9.20. God, I hope the weather isn't like this in Ireland. I can't think of anything worse if that the match was cancelled and, you know, I flew back. I suppose it wouldn't be that big of a deal, I suppose. I could just go see my family or whatever, but... Pleasure looking after you. I will look forward to welcome you on board another Air Lingus flight. Alright, we landed. 
Thank God for that. But his flight's good. That was actually alright, to be fair. Didn't have any trouble or anything like that. I don't have to wait for my bag because I have it on me. Yeah, his flight's good. That was alright. Like, I wasn't really... I'm a bit of a nervous flyer. That was fine. I am. I'm delighted how everything went there. <laughs> Good to see the dogs again. I'd be lying to you if I said I, I feel as fresh as a daisy right now. I think any plane journey you go on, it's always gonna take a bit out of you. So, we only have an hour until we have to leave, sadly. It's a very quick turnaround. I just threw on my breakfast. Uh, Three Weedabix and a banana, that's it. Trying to sort out the Harleys. I ordered a new one, but it never came. So obviously I left Harleys over in Amsterdam. So take the pink grip off that Harley and put it on that one. We'll be fine, we'll be all right. It's gonna be the best game of my life. I can feel it right now. The best game of my life. Well, well, well. Sorry, I didn't record any of the game. I'm like a fucking cooking dog in this, in this uh, car. Jesus Christ. Great game, fantastic game. I'm so glad I came back. I've been very dodgy recently with Harleen, but this today, everything just went well for me and the team. I was extremely happy with the way I played and the team just played excellent. Oh, I was great, very good. Definitely worth coming back because this morning when I was on the plane, I said it before that I'm a very nervous flyer and I was on the plane, I was like, Jesus, is this worth it? Like, so I have to like come back tomorrow and do the plane again and probably do it again, you know, in two weeks, three weeks time, you know, that kind of way, but it was so worth it. It was so worth it. I'm gonna have a takeaway tonight. It's well worth it. I don't even know if there's a point of sleeping, to be honest, in Cork. It's very, very early on. Flight is so early. It's six o'clock in the morning, I think, so you kind of have to be there around four. So you have to get up at half three, you know, it's, is there even a point? Unless I go to bed at like eight, you know, but yeah, really delighted. Didn't get to show you. Actually, when I said my brand new Harley didn't arrive, it actually had arrived like three days ago. The delivery guy just threw it in a bush and uh, we only noticed it when we were going out the door. So I had the good Harley, delighted, absolutely delighted. It was just pure bliss, everything worked out. You know, the playing journey wasn't even that bad to be honest with you. As playing journeys go, it was fine. Gonna go see Emma's family now just for an hour or two. Wasn't gonna tell any of the managers, but I was so tired from the very beginning. Like I literally, when they say empty the tank, I emptied the tank i just want to sleep right now so this was my room it is completely cleaned out it is nine o'clock and i'm going to bed i'm going to sleep on the couch downstairs they got rid of my bed because it was being held up by like newspapers it was so old i'm so tired i'm so tired right now good news is i get to do this all again on the 18th because the footballers footballers need me so they've booked me to come home so we get to do this again. But I just want to go to bed right now. I'm so tired, man. I actually slept all right, to be fair. I actually slept all right. <sighs> Nearly there. Nearly there. I'm home. Emma doesn't want to be on the camera, but she's right here next to me. Again, the flight was actually pretty good as flights go. A bit rocky, you know, coming in again. A bit of turbulence as well, but it was actually fine. That's probably about it, to be honest with you. It was worth it, and it was definitely worth it. It was a great win. I didn't get any clips of the match, but we, we, we scored about 24 points, I think. This is a shout out to the kid who commented, you won't score on my TikTok. I'll admit it. He rattled me, like he, he was in my head, I was like, I'm gonna have to score, but this one's for you, I did score, and, um, that's all that matters. We'll be back again in two weeks, thank you very much for watching, have a good day, bye.